Welcome back guys, in this tutorial we're gonna see how we're gonna set up superset locally. We're gonna use docker compose. You guys talk, we have questions, make sure you join our discord channel. Here we exchange information about everything data engineering and we ask and answer data engineering questions. Find the link in the description with the server invite and we'll do our best to help you. So what is Superset? Basically Superset, it's a modern data exploration and data visualization platform. The first thing what you wanna do, open a terminal line and start your Docker if you haven't done so. A Docker, while this Docker service starts, we're gonna clone the superset repository. So I'm already in my project. So what I'll do here, I'll clone the superset repository here. All right, so we can see that Docker it's up and running. Let's minimize this one. Now that we have the repository downloaded, let's jump into the folder and let's go over it. This is what we are going to use. For example, this is the Docker compose YAML file. So let me clear this one and let's type the command first thing we want to do we want to do docker compose dash f and the docker yaml we are going to use and the first command is going to be a pool and then we're going to start it basically it's going to bring all the all the images uh required for this docker compose um setup great now that we have all the resources pulled let's start our docker compose i'm gonna go and open docker look containers we can see that superset is starting to spin up now if we navigate to the url that is provided let's open our browser and type in localhost 8088 the initial user is going to be admin and the password is going to be admin. Uh, we're not going to save this. Great, now we can see that superset, it's available and running on our local host. If we're going to go and review our Docker container setup, we can see all of our containers are running in our Docker Compose. Next thing we want to do, we want to connect to one of our databases. So if I go to my command line and we do a brew service list, I can see I have a couple of databases installed locally. I have Mongo, MySQL, and Postgres. So for this example, we're going to see how we can connect to these two databases, MySQL and Postgres. So let's jump into it. So you want to navigate to data on the top menu, databases, and here you want to add a new database. Choose your flavor database and add your configuration. There is a catch here. Since I'm running Docker on Mac, using the local host will not work. And I'll show you guys. If I'll do 1201 and I'll put my port 5432, I'll get this message. The port is closed. If you're running on Linux, you can use local host. If you install superset locally, not the uh, Docker, again, this would work. But for me, I need to punch in the Docker for Mac host internal. So be mindful of that if you're running on Mac. And you see right now, we're not getting that message anymore. All right, so now let's add the database name we want to connect. Uh, in this case, uh, my user is PG user, and obviously the password is the same for the ease of use. Display name, uh, we're going to keep it as this. And if you want to add parameters here or enable a cell, you can also go ahead and do that. So let's connect. After you connect the database, you're going to be asked some questions here. Do you want to enable this database to be queried through the SQL app? This is a very nifty feature, you know. Um, you can query the database straight from Superset and you can wrangle and view the data. So for this one, we're going to say yes. You can even put some performance uh, adjustment here and settings, uh, the table, cash out. We're going to leave it as it is. Security, if we want to add extra certificate or schemas allow for CSV upload and others is going to be engine parameters, metadata parameters. We're not going to touch on those. So let's finish. Let's go ahead and also add a, a MySQL database. Let's add in our host because we're running on Docker. My port is going to be 3006. The database is the same demo and let's connect. Let's leave the others as well and finish. Now let's go ahead and see how we can explore this data using the SQL lab. If you go to the top menu here and you go to SQL editor, 
you're going to see a menu here databases so if you click on it we're going to see all of our databases so let's go to mysql and now you can see it will drill down to the schema choose schema demo and now let's see the tables so if we were to click on it and you see out of the box he will give you the data uh what about um catalog cars the same thing it works out of the box an interesting feature here you can add multiple sets here if you see here we've added both here and we can click on the tabs to actually see them let's say i want to add another one users this is very interesting when you're working and you want to build a dashboard you can look at the data and build your query accordingly going back to the dashboard you can also see that we have some default dashboard you can inspire yourself and in the same time you can drill into them go to edit chart and you can see how it's built so you can build your own okay so this is a wrap for how we can install superset using docker compose uh -huh.